Hi everybody, Lisa Schmidt here, and what I'm pondering this week is the Feast of Corpus Christi that we celebrate on Sunday. And as I've been reading about this feast, I've become acquainted with a woman I didn't really know much about before, and her name is Saint Juliana of Cornelione. And Juliana, back in the 13th century, received a series of visions while she was praying in Eucharistic adoration. And over time, she, became, she came to understand that the Lord was asking her to go to the church and help institute a feast that would honor the Blessed Sacrament. So what did she do with these visions? She held them in her heart and pondered them for 20 years. I think I would struggle to keep something like that a secret for 20 seconds. But that is why she is a saint and I am a saint in the making. Because what saints do, according to Pope Benedict XVI, is they do four things. When they get these inspired thoughts, they one, go immerse themselves in prayer, take it all to the Lord. Two, they patiently wait for the Lord to show them what to do next. Three, they surround themselves with spiritual friends who they can talk to and share all of these visions with, trusted spiritual friends. And four, once they're ready, once they know that this is of the Lord, they then go approach the pastors and priests of the church and um, lean on them for their holy judgment. So I've just been pondering that. Like when I receive an inspired thought from the Holy Spirit, do I do those four things? Do I pray? wait patiently, um, check it out with some trusted friends, and then finally take it to a priest for, for holy counsel. So those are just some things that we can think about um, when, when the Lord places thoughts on our hearts. To learn more about the Feast of Corpus Christi and St. Juliana of Cornelione, head over to the blog, theweldemoyne.com, and I have a new five-minute reflection up that talks a little bit more about the Feast and Juliana. See you over there.